Kia ora, Year 12. Here's another old, old integration question from 2009. Again, it's from an expired NCEA standard, but the content is still totally that of what we do today. And it's a differential equation, um, a very, very general one. We're given the um, rate of change of quantity n, and it's given by this differential equation, which we've worked with lots and lots. Um, and n, we're told, has got positive values n1 and n2 at these two times. And we have to prove the value of k is equal to this thing here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is separate the variables. This is probably one of the easier excellence questions I've seen in the last few weeks. Um, so working from here down, we get 1 over n dn is equal to k dt. I'm going to integrate both sides. That gives me the natural log of n here and kt plus c over here. Right, so n is equal to e to the kt plus c. We can write that as e to the kt e to the c, which by convention I write as a, big A, e to the kt. As usual, different ways to do this question. Now we've got two bits of information. We've got at time 1, n is equal to n1, and at t2, n is equal to n2. So I'm going to substitute both of these in here now. We get n1 is a e to the k times t1, and n2 is equal to a e to the k t2. Now we want to eliminate a and solve for k. So if we take either one of these equations and divide it by the other, we're going to get the following equation. So I've done n1 over n2 on the left hand side. Simplifying here we get n1 over n2 is equal to e, so the a's have gone. Now I've got the same base so I can subtract the powers giving me n1 over n2 is e to the k times t1 minus t2. If I now take logs of both sides, I've almost got my result. Now we're told that n1 and n2 are positive, so we know that we've got no dramas with logs. Logging this side we get k times that. So my final step is to divide through by t1 minus t2. and we get the desired result.